words like the reason or the cause and that helps you understand that that is actually a hint for you to use the connector and that is why you have only one reason marker connector and that is why so uh, when is the time marker connector where is the place marker connector and here why is the reason marker connector and they are called adverbial connectors okay. why everybody knows why she left her previous job everybody knows why she left her previous job in other words we are talking about the reason of her leaving the job so you can very well use the reason everybody knows the reason why she left her previous job the manager did not mention why there was a fire so what we are saying is the manager did not mention the factor that caused the fire okay so we are not talking about uh, something i mean uh, the manager did not mention the reason why there was a fire so we are not writing the reason or the cause or the factor but why definitely refers to the reason so what i wanted to say was that when you use why uh, you do not always need to use words like the reason or cause so it is all right if you can omit the words like reason because when you use why it is evident that you are talking about the reason one small point about using relative words as connectors and there is the use of comma we have already discussed that non defining use of these connectors would have comma okay for example if you compare these two sentences it's one in the same sentence but the first use is defining while the second sentence is non defining use of connectors and therefore the second sentence uses comma the students who knew about the holiday did not come the students who knew about the holiday did not come here what we mean to express is that there were only students the students who knew about the holiday did not come so the students who did not come were the ones who knew about it while in the second sentence the students who knew about the holiday did not come so here we are making the group of students exclusive the students who knew about the holiday did not come so the students who did not come were all of them who did who knew about the holiday okay so that is the uh, you know, use of comma let's sum up we already knew what so and therefore do so and therefore connect the reason and the result and here we can see the relative pronouns that is the second set please remember what is used for persons and for things who whom whose are used for persons while which and whose are used for objects or things when where why okay when is used for time where is used for place and so when you and why is used for reason so when you use these connectors you must remove anything that is uh, that refers to the time place or uh, reason and you should also decide the appropriate connector looking at the sentence for example if the sentence has a clause that is based on reason that is that talks about the reason you should be using why if there is a clause that talks about the place you should be using where and if there is a clause that talks about time you should be using when connectors help us coordinate meaning there are three types of connectors that is coordinating conjunctions adverbial conjunctions and the subordinating conjunctions so therefore connects result and reason and you can compare it with the other uh, connector words such as because as relative pronouns as connectors four pronouns that we looked at relative adverbs when where and why defining and non defining use that is if you identify the antecedent by using a clause uh, that is made of relative pronoun it is defining and if you just add some extra information it is non defining use also be careful about using commas and you can also try these exercises when you are free some of the exercises are also given in your book i am sure you have solved them or if you haven't you can now solve them because now you know about uh, how to solve them 
and how to connect sentences basically you have pairs of sentences or words which you need to connect using appropriate connectors in your textbook that is active english you have chapter 7 and that has exercises in stages for example there is one set made of two or three connectors there is another set made of three or four connectors and then you have exercises so your task is in stages and then you can go for consolidated exercises you can refer to any book on grammar and that will have a section on connectors or conjunctions so connectors is a broad category that helps us coordinate our sentences and expressions i hope you will continue your learning english and you will continue learning connectors wish you all the best thank you very much